Hello, in this video I'm going to make a comparison between the traveling wave and the standing wave. The traveling wave, as the name suggests, travels, right? You can see a wave crest progressing right toward. The standing wave, as its name suggests, is stationary, it doesn't move. You can see kind of up and down bobbing motion, but certainly nothing is moving leftward or rightward. So a traveling wave, we say, propagates some energy or momentum along the wave. For a standing wave, the energy is trapped within the wave. Okay, now let's talk about the amplitude of oscillations. For the traveling wave, every point in the traveling wave has the same amplitude of oscillation. Yeah, don't believe, you see? You compare the oscillation of the blue and the red, both of them reach the same amplitude. It's just that they reach it at a different time only, but they reach the same amplitude. In fact, every point on the wave reaches the same amplitude. So the amplitude is uniform, constant throughout a traveling wave. What about the standing wave? Now, remember the standing wave has positions called the node. So at the nodes, there's no oscillation. The amplitude is zero, right? I can let you see, yeah? There's no oscillation at all. But then there are also positions called the anti-nodes where the oscillations have the maximum amplitude. You can see, this one swings by a lot. So in a standing wave, the amplitude is not constant, it's not uniform. Uh, it varies from zero at the node to maximum at the anti-node and then back to zero at the node. Okay, now let's talk about the phase relationship. For the traveling wave, we know that every point is an oscillation, but the oscillations have a progressive lag as we travel down the wave. Yeah, see? Compare the blue one and the red one. The red one is always slightly delayed compared to the blue one because the red one is just trying to copy the blue one, right? So as a copycat, it's always late. Now what about the standing wave? How would you describe the phase relationship between the blue oscillation and the red oscillation? Now, does it look like they're completely in phase? Yeah? They reach the peak together, they cross the zero together, reach the bottom together, cross together, hit the peak together, cross together. They're doing everything exactly in step. It's just that they're doing it with a different amplitude. So, for a standing wave, all the oscillations in the same loop, ah, this is what we call a loop, yeah? It's the segment between two nodes. So, all the oscillations in the same loop are completely in phase. But what about the oscillations in this loop and this loop? Ah, then these two are completely out of phase. Yeah, completely out of phase. So see the difference between traveling wave and standing wave? For the traveling wave, two points one wavelength apart will be completely in phase. Two points half a wavelength apart will be completely out of phase. And these two points will be 90 degrees out of phase. And in fact, for any two points, the phase relationship can be calculated using delta x divided by lambda times 2 pi radian. What about the standing wave? Uh, the standing wave is actually much easier. There's nothing to calculate. You are either completely in phase or completely out of phase. So the traveling wave is like the dragon dance. Everybody does the same oscillation with the same amplitude but with a phase lag. And the standing wave is like the line dance. Everybody in the same loop does the same oscillation exactly in step in phase. It's just that some people have longer legs, some people have shorter legs, so the amplitude is different. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!